So last time, uh, would anyone like to do a recap? Yeah, I will. <laughs> okay, uh, Kevin, take it away. All right, we uh, killed everything. We are now kings and legends of the land, uh, and uh, uh, everyone uh, bows to us. Sorry. That's uh, how I remember it. Yeah. James, you want to go ahead and <laughs> give a little brief? Uh, no. Okay. I don't. Well, last time, the uh, party was in uh, an encampment, and they were bound in cages, one bound to a chair. Uh, Harald and Fulton uh, questioned you guys. Eventually, Fulton took off with the Prezzo orbs and I believe that may have been it. Um, Prez orbs and maybe a couple other things. I'll have to relook into that. Uh, before some of you listen to Harald speak, uh, where he offered a deal, essentially, saying that continue on your quest to become a nation and in that time start building me an army and I will make this look like a dragon attack and you guys can sneak off and Fulton probably probably won't know for a long time that it was all a ruse um, in that he also wanted the gem which he got um and Drew that's not very good very helpful no. um so you all signed a contract except for Fell who wasn't there which I'll get to you in a second Fell alright um, you all signed a contract saying that you are soul bound and I can actually show you that contract Right here. Um, essentially, I don't have some of the things worked out, like the date. Uh, I have that written down somewhere, I can't find it. But essentially, you're soul bound to deliver an army. Uh, you grant permanent title, land, and position on the council once your rule is established to them. Um, the second party's tax exempt. All the all the usual soulbound stuff contract, right? So eventually he let you walk out with your equipment and Atlas and one other person look behind them and they see a dragon, gold and red, fly over the outpost as you're probably around five hundred feet away, with all those innocent people inside and the unseen themselves were torched immediately and then he flew off uh, as you guys continue walking fell yes the last thing you remember was being dragged slowly um, and you thought you saw like a gigantic wolf dragging you into a forest and you passed out as you awake you see a familiar looking tree loom over you and your mouth tastes dry and earthy as your eyes dart open if you would go ahead to your character sheet mm -hmm. and click on the long rest button if it, oh hold on let me change that for you Okay, click on the long rest button. Wow. Hey. There you go. Um, Neat. It is essentially daytime now as the sun is shining through the trees as Ortuk is standing over you, along with a halfling friend you know as Tup. Um. 
I guess I can piece together fairly easily what happened. I don't want to kind of just play my own session um, with uh, with everyone else and awaiting. But uh, I guess the leading thing is how do we get back there? And how long has it been? How long have I been out? Well, it's It's been, goodness, it's been at least 12 hours or so. Twelve hours isn't too bad. Um, can we get back to the uh, to the encampment? I, are you sure you want to go back? The, the friends, I'm, oh, everything it. was on fire when I went to get you, uh, like or smoldering. The camp was still there. Your friends seemed to be caught. Uh, most of them were passed out in cages when I flew over, but. Well, doesn't I mean, look too good. I uh, absolutely appreciate the fine rescue, and I'm sure that only takes one more coin off my debt to you, but um, I at least need to be getting back there. How uh, how travel-ready am I? I know I dropped um, zero. You're sore? You're pretty sore. Um, you are a little hungry. You Your clothes are a little singed. But you still have everything on you that you had before. Okay. Um, obviously no mount, though. Uh, can you bring up the map again? Absolutely. Actually, I think... Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm um, here, basically. And there is where I'm trying to get. Essentially, yes. That's the last known location of your party. All right. Um, Give up it, this fool's quest, Phil. Well, we at least got to see them. You need to come to grips with that. If they're dead, I'm going to be wanting to see a body. Um, I ain't much for caring for them yet, but... They are still family, and as is, I got to do right by them. At least I got to take a look, and uh, I'm going to head out. Okay. Uh, you start heading out. Um, rest of you guys, uh, it's still early, early morning. You can see the sun starting uh, to crest over as you continue to walk away. Anything you guys want to do at the moment? I just keep walking dead forward to wherever I feel like I need to go, wherever we're going. I assume back to our base? Uh, yeah, I would think that would be the plan. Atlas is kind of, his head is down, uh, more silent than usual as he just continues on the path that seems to be towards the encampment along the river. Now that the uh, hags have been dealt with, he no longer fears the riverside. Um, so, Phil, well, I want you to make a perception check. Okay. Um, I would be moving stealthy. Uh, shouldn't be any type of penalty due to the uh, terrain. Nope. You're good. But let us percept. Oh. Nice. Hey, roll me another 20 if you would. Yeah, sure. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, not, come on now, that's cheating. Uh, All right. Doesn't go up, but um, with your half elf eyes, you see. Half elf? You're a full Son? elf? Yeah. You're, you're an elf? <laughs> I am a full elf. It's been so long. It's been a while. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Um,. With your elven eyes, you see a group of four um, trotting along the river, stopping to have a drink at the moment. My group? I recognize a uh, halfling. Pretty far away. Okay, I'll still head towards it. Uh, going stealthy, though. Okay. Making sure. I would assume it is, but I can't imagine... Rushing in. Um, anyone want to roll a perception check on the other other team? I'll give it a try. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, you don't quite, you don't see anything, but you hear something across the river as you guys have just kind of stopped for a moment. A couple splashes. And you look up and you see it's actually a man, a uh, human male. Middle, middle aged about, rough hair, his clothes are ragged and worn. And he just comes to you and he's breathing real hard. <sighs> Please, you gotta help me. As he uh, looks everyone over. What do you need? <laughs> I, I've been attacked by some goblins back to the east. But my family. I, I fear the worst for them. All right. Um, how far are you? How far away are you? Is your family? Oh, I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've ran all day, all night. So two days away? Where, where's your family? Did you? But I guess maybe ten to twenty miles east. There's a small forest by the uh, by the mountainside now. I'd like to do a uh, insight test. Okay. He seems reasonable. Reasonably truthful. All right, Anyone well. Oh, go for it. Uh, no, I'm good. All right. S slow down. S start from the beginning. You're attacked, so did the goblins have your family? Uh, I think so, yeah. All right, start from it, the beginning. All right, I was just... I was making dinner, uh, about a day ago now, uh, and all of a sudden we heard some screeching, and we saw a goblin, and my little girl came running up to me, and she, she was scared for her life, and then I heard screaming, and I went to go collect my wife and my son. They're nowhere to be found, and I heard more screaming. And so, I, 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 I'm not a brave man, sir. Well, no. I, I can't hold my own against ten or twelve goblins. Uh, there's some bigger goblins too. I don't know. They're covered in fur, and they're about my size. But I, I, I ran, sir. I'm not proud of it. Please, if they're alive, if there's any hope, I, I just need some help. We're just moving through the area. Sounds like a pick-me-up to me. I'm ready to kill things. Um, yeah. This I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, shake my alms box at the man for this whole time. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I'm gonna shake my alms box at the man and say, uh, Helm offers you his protection. Are you, are you coming with? Are you going to help me? Yes, yes, we're, we're coming with you. Oh. We're going to help you. Put the goddamn box away. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, you see this, Fel. Um, they first report everything later. up front. Yeah, Fel, you see a man um, as you slowly get closer behind some brush now. You're probably like 20 feet away. And it is indeed your party as this man's is in the middle of telling them a story. Can I, and did I hear that whole story or? You caught the tail end of it, that he ran and that he needs help. And then everyone essentially said, yes, we'll help you. All right. Um, I mean, I know I'm, I'm kind of sad and the party doesn't necessarily see me. Uh, the easiest thing would be to just kind of come out, but I, I'm assuming what I actually do is kind of follow behind a little bit and make sure that everything looks okay. Um, seeing what's going on, I'm obviously pretty uh, surprised to see them all captured, where at least we know that we had lost that fight, and now they're all kind of just following out after some random dude who ran away. Yeah. Uh, just seems to a little funky. Yeah. 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 Clearly we're imposters. Well, you know, I'm making sure that, uh, right. but yeah, I'll, I'll tail them. All right, all right. Uh, make a uh, another stealth check, and everyone make a perception. Or would it just be passive? 
Or whatever. Well, you're... Yeah. Let's see what Alice's is. As he's following down, checking the way. Always wary of a trap. Huh. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make him roll one. Uh, all right, so you don't seem to notice anything. How long do you want to follow them? Uh, until they get to wherever they're going. Um, okay. Until they stop or anything like that. I'll, I'll keep, you know, my distance. Um, I don't want to hover on top of them. I want to make sure, though, that they're never out of eyesight. Yeah, so you're like 100, maybe more feet away. Depends on the forest. Depends on okay. the it's landscape. It's yeah. starting to become open grasslands now. Okay. Um, maybe some brush here and there. Not a whole lot of trees. So you're having to lie real low. Okay. Um, to follow them. But anything you guys want to talk about on your way there? Or do you just kind of want to go there? So, um, you want to go first? Yep. Go for it. What's up? All right. So as we're marching, I'll just ask him some questions. I'll ask him, so uh, what's your name? What? Uh, how long you been around here? Where are you heading to? Where are you going my, from? My, my name's just Tim. I, I was coming up from Javar, and uh, well, sir, uh, I was heading up to my way. Um, just, just towards Fort Kala over there. Um, I, I think I got lost. I, I didn't want to take the ferry across the lake, as you can see that. Fort Call is a short distance away from Javar. And, and he goes, I, I was wanting to maybe find a different port somewhere. Maybe the city up north uh, would have cheaper prices. I They were wanting 20 gold just to go to Fort Call of increased security and all that. I, don't, I can't afford that, sir. Yeah, these are dangerous parts here. So I was just strolling through this area it's not very well mapped or charted and I just uh boy do we know that <laughs> I, I just well I, I lost my way All right. I'm gonna do insight check just to make sure it sounds legit to me but it sounds legit to me yeah it sounds pretty legit to you you're um he's uh he does seem like an honest man, uh, just a simple common folk. Uh, chewed off way too much than what, you know, this could have been. Could have been a simple, oh, well, maybe I'll go south to Illinfoss or something like that, but he didn't. Um, so he uh, continues to lead Juwan until he stops and he's going around. And it's about a mile up that way, the forest. Uh, Oh, at this time, at night is about uh, is almost approaching. Everyone, by the way, has a point of exhaustion except for Fell. Um, it's you're extremely tired. Um, you need a good night's rest, essentially. Yeah, and we haven't regained any hit points, have we? Nope, nope, we haven't. Yeah, so we're all at one hit point. Yeah. All right. Well, we need to stop and yeah. rest then. <laughs> Even if we found goblins, we're probably <laughs> less less use than this guy is. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I guess I can wait a night. It's. Thank you so much for coming to help me out. Uh. I. I can go and. Search for some, brush and stuff like that. Um. And he goes around and he starts walking towards you, Phil. As he starts to walk away, I'm actually going to say, "Hold on now. It's best we don't split up, especially not at night." Oh, okay. We'll take watches. Right. If you need, if you want someone to go with you, I'll go with you. Yeah, can you kill him with me? I, I just want to gather some brush for some, some fire. All right. Uh, how is the sun, kind of starting to set, or is it dark? The sun is starting to set. All right, I'll go with you. No, it's winter time. It's cold as fuck. It's there's snow on the ground. Um. Luckily, you still have your equipment, which included your furs and all that, so you can probably make it a night outside as long as there's a good fire going. 
All right. Um, the surrounding area is very hilly. Um, you're kind of in between hills right now instead of on top of one, so the fire would be fairly concealed as best as it can in the plains area. Okay, we're going to take a... We'll be searching around until the sun, the sun really is just about down. And then we'll be back. And I'll just be following him, but keeping an eye on him as well as the surroundings. Okay. Well, so I'll go ahead and roll another. Just the me. Uh. Uh, that's not it. <laughs> uh, it's GM roll, isn't it? Yeah, slash GM roll. Okay. Oh, and I, oh, yeah, okay, I do get to see the result of that. What's your passive perception there, John? Probably pretty bad. Is it just, like, 10 plus wisdom mod? Yeah, it's... it's It'd just be 10, then. Alright. Um, so... You, um... You don't really see anything uh, dangerous out here. You know, a couple rabbits, uh, which he actually is very useful with a sling. He has a little sling, and he's caught a couple rabbits, some brush, a um, couple dead trees, and he brings them back to camp. You guys start a fire. Who's on first watch? I'll take the first watch. About? All right. Since I'm talk only about good with the light still being up, and I do have a couple hit points. Okay. So you'll be on first. Who's second? I'll, I'll take, take second watch. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, Atlas can take third. Um, Danner. I'll take fourth. Last. Yeah. Oh, fourth. I can barely hear you, by the way. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll take. I can take fourth. Okay. Um, alrighty then. Uh, the night passes. First watch is over. The second watch begins, and third watch, fourth watch, everyone gets rest. Uh, go ahead and hit the long rest button. Neato. I know, isn't that neat? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty neat. All right. So, um, Fel, you're just watching this. You know, you're... That they're taking their normal watches. Yeah, nothing um, seems out of the ordinary so nothing far. Nothing has seemed out of the ordinary so far. Except that you're stalking us like a creeper. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're uh, shapeshifters or something, man. You know, I got to. Uh... <laughs> so paranoid. Hell what yeah, if we, we've been shapeshifters the whole time. <laughs> what if this is all a dream? You're just in a computer. That's possible. It's all just a all game. Right. <laughs> so the morning comes along, and he, um, Tim wakes up. He's, oh, uh, good morning, everyone. Sorry, I, I didn't take a, a, a watch. I slept like a log. I've been running day and night for two days now. Um, sorry. Don't you be worrying about it, there, friend. Surprise! No goblins came in the night to slit our throats, slimy little bastards. They all deserve to die if it's up to me. <laughs> Anyways, it's just right over there. Are we ready? Come, I got a sling. I can maybe hit some from afar. All right. You just well. take care of yourself and your family, friend. We'll take everything else. Okay. Okay. Um, you guys continue along over there, and there is indeed a small little forest. And for the record, I've been dragging my iron chair with me the whole time. Okay, it's you don't have to anymore, by the way. No, I want halfway to. Halfway through the day. Oh, okay, you're dragging. <laughs> okay. This is important for some to me. Reason, fell. You see, uh, um, Alexander just dragging this iron chair with him behind him. That seems a little odd, but other than that, everything's perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, you, yeah, you guys approach the forest. 
You don't seem to hear anything at first. What do you want to do? Um, and I'll be leaving the chair, like the camp or whatever. I'm not going to take it with okay. me while we're hunting these things. All right, then. I just want to know where it is. I'll take a javelin out so I have it ready. Other than that, sort of uh, enter the forest. Okay. Uh, Danner, same thing, just getting ready. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just following around, like following behind, trying to keep close to these other guys. Okay. I think Atlas should probably be up in front since he's got the eyes and stuff. Yeah, he's already. Yeah, he's hmm? already there. All right, yeah, I'll there. be right behind him, sword and shield at the ready. And he slicks down. All right, I guess uh, I guess I'll take up the rear. All right. Uh, and he sleeks down and he starts approaching. And all of a sudden you hear high pitched voices that um, anyone speak under common or I don't think goblin so. or anything? Nope. Um, nope. Okay. No dice. Um, as you approach. Oh, I speak orc. If that helps. Uh, sorry. No. And you're, you're still, how far away are you following the party? Uh, if they're going into this forest, I'm not too, too far behind. Um, I don't know if they even see or hear me at this point. Well, I'm still trying to be stealthy. Yeah. But uh, it seems like a fight is coming up. I've, you know, I think I've collected enough of what's going on just from conversation and overhearing that they're looking to uh, kill some stuff. Yeah. And goblins are a favored enemy. So, unfortunately, it's not nearly as good in 5th edition, but... Yeah. Um, so you go, and you're probably around 30 or 40 feet behind um, Exaden, who's bringing up the rear. Uh, Exaden, what's your passive perception? Nine. Nine, uh, okay. <laughs> um, to the Alexander and Atlas, well, Atlas, it's Alexander. You see the goblins. They're in a little clearing. No sign of any prisoners or dead bodies. There are signs of struggle. Um, and it looks like maybe uh, a pony, some pony tracks. You're standing right on them, leading away. So the direction we came from? What's that? So the direction we came from is where the pony seems to be leading? Or seems to be leaving, like it fled in that direction. Yeah. Um, and you notice that the goblins are actually pretty hurt. Like, some of them have, like, crude bandages. Some of them are just hobbling. And they're just sitting around a campfire, stoking it, roasting some rabbits. And there's no sentries posted at all. I'll turn around and look and see what Tim, like, what's, how's he looking? What's he focusing on? Is he looking he looks weird? Concerned. He looks concerned that he doesn't see his family anywhere. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, like, point at my eyes and then point down to the pony tracks and then, like, point in the direction that they went so he can see that there's something that maybe got away. Yeah, yeah, and he's... I had a pony with me. Oh, maybe, maybe one of my, maybe my wife or kid got away. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna sort of crouch up to where the other ones. Where are the big ones? You said there were bigger ones. Yes, yes, there, there were. I, I don't know what happened to them. The, there's not nearly as many anymore. Like, I, I saw ten for myself, and I heard much more. Now there's small little number. There's supposed to be like seven, and you're being very quiet. You're whispering. There's like okay. seven of them now. I don't wonder. I don't. And they look wounded, and I don't understand what's going on. Um. 
Um. Hmm. I can't. Uh, okay, so how many are there exactly that we can see? There's seven that you can see. They're all around the fire. Um, a couple of them are hobbling around. Some of them, um, like one or two, are just laid down, sleeping, and the others are stoking the fire, cooking. Hmm. Dannerby, you're their height. Talk to them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say to Atlas, you can take the first shot if you'd like. All right, guys, I think we need a little bit more information here. Um, I'm going to go in. If you just be ready to uh, take them out if they start um, fleeing or attacking. Before you before you leave the rest of the, of the group, uh, uh -huh. um, I'm going to do this on everybody. Okay. Well, except uh, Phil. Well, not well, right. yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm intrigued now, so I'll just uh, kind of shoot my blade, but keep my shield up. And just kind of follow Satan's lead. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna sheathe my javelin. Not gonna uh, unsheathe the greatsword yet. I just, I'm gonna walk in till the goblin can see me. And I'm a six foot tall dude with horns and split Stop. nail. Stop begging. Please. Oh, there. In kind of broken common. One holds up a javelin. I'm not your enemy. Not your enemy. Friend? Well, that remains to be seen. I'm looking for someone. A human woman and a boy. Yes. They... They took off. Which way? How? On their pony. Okay. What happened to you? We were invaded. Our cave to the to the southeast. Not this mountain. The cliffs down below. Okay. We fled here because there's another new mountain range spout up from the ground. It's very interesting. There's a new mountain range, so you fled. Okay, um, you said you were invaded. By who? Oh, they're big and purple and ugly. That's all. How big? Uglier bigger than, than me? Much bigger than you. Uh, Three of yous, maybe. Can I make Our a history leaders. check to see if I've ever heard of these things before? Um, from they describe them in kind of broken common, but you gather that they're giants. They're mm -hmm. very hideous. You think they're Fomorians? Okay. They're out of our league. <laughs> um. Yeah. How are they out of our league? How tough are Fomorians? <laughs> well, uh, not, not to be league. meta, so I don't know. I think. They're, from what I remember, they're big and bad. They're big and they're bad. Okay. Um, but they're, you don't know how strong they normally are. Um, yeah. They, they are mine, our home. So it's gone now. We sent, we sent uh, leaders and all of our tribe, our tribe to go against them. And, we fled here. We mounted a counterattack, and we were defeated. What about the uh, the human woman and the boy? How did, how are they? How do you encounter them? Well, there was fire, and we 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 were and we it smelled good. That's how we encountered them. You s smelled their cooking? Well, we were running away, and we just happened to stumble across them, yes. Where did you stumble across them? A little little east of here, toward mountain. On the edge of forest. 
and they followed you here. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I thought, are you talking about the human or the? Yeah, the humans. Well, the humans didn't follow them. They, uh, they followed the humans. Okay. Um. I don't want to scare you, but there's more of us. May I call them forth? Well, more. And they're not your enemies. The other goblins like kind of shift and stir. Like, please, no, we're we're not ready for this. I, okay, okay. I'm gonna go back to my friends then. All right. So I'm gonna walk back to the party. Okay. Uh, relay. Okay. So, the, of course, the information I think Tim's going to be most interested in is that apparently his uh, wife and son have already fled on a pony. What? Uh, what was it about your where daughter as well? Do like, you know where she went? Like, was she with them? Oh, yeah. He did say he had a daughter, didn't he? Yeah, the way the goblin made it sound is, yes, they all fled together. Kids were small enough they could... Uh, right along. So Tim, Tim didn't see them actually being aggressive. He just heard them approaching no, and no, he didn't. He, took like up. he said, he is very cowardly. Uh, he's a cowardly man, and he read, ran at the first sign of screaming. As much fun as it would be to kill these guys, not much of a challenge, but fun. Uh, let's go find your family. Oh, okay. And I whisper that, by the way, so that the goblins will not hear. From whatever distance they may be at. So let's Maybe. just follow these tracks. They just want safe passage to the mountains, right? Well, they, want, they want to actually go to the town up northwest that's very far away from here. <laughs> as far as you know. Um... I don't know how that's going to go over. <laughs> what do you mean? Alice turns it. It's... I just... We risk our neck for them. What can they offer us? What they? Who's the they? The goblin? The, uh, the, uh, yeah. The, the, Tim and his family. Well, can can I see the uh, the map of the territory? And where are we? Mr. Kim, what's your profession? Uh, me, I'm a, I'm a blacksmith. A blacksmith. That is excellent. Oh, uh, insight? Are you inciting him, Drew? Uh, I was inciting to see if they were lying. If I could tell if they the were goblins. lying about where they were going. The goblins or the human? The goblins. But I really didn't do very good on that roll, yeah, so you, I wasn't you, expecting you anything. You go up there, so you can't really tell. Oh, no. All right, so are we voting on what to do, or is this? Um, well, we've already, like, barked day in camp trying to help Tim get his family. I think the, the only reasonable option is to help him find his family. Just follow the pony tracks? Yeah. I mean, I'm not I concerned agree. about seven wounded goblins. <laughs> yeah, I would just, I would just maybe send you back to warn them not to stir up any trouble in our lands, since you're the most intimidating. <laughs> just make sure that they're like minding their p's and q's as they come through here. All right. So I'll go back and. Uh, am I any good at intimidation? I am good at intimidation. All right, I'm gonna try and intimidate <laughs> some goblins. Okay. Um, sounds good. What are you saying to them? Um, <clears throat> sort of dropping, sort of like the nice guy or not your enemy stick, and going more. I'll even uh use a little. Um, 
some of my tiefling filmaturgy to sort of conjure up some sort of rumbling sounds and flames licking my eyes and stuff. Basically explain that these lands are under my protection and that if they, you know, cause any problems while they're here, they'll answer to if, me. If they're under your protection, how, how come big bads came and wrecked our home? They didn't know it was under our protection. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Wait. If this is your land, you say it's under your protection. Yeah, it is. So don't start any problems. What? I, what? <laughs> no problems. Tick has not done any problems. Alright, that's good. We just mine. We mine at home. We sleep at home, we eat mushrooms, we mine some more. That's all we do. You're goblin miners. What do you do with the ore? It's shiny. We keep it. <sighs> so your home, what type of shiny? Oh, you... I should be asking or answering these questions. Oh, yeah, you really should be answering these questions. <laughs> Let me get talk. Talk. And uh, this uh, older goblin kind of hobbles up, has this odd necklace um, that have these small vials all around it. What is it, Tick? Uh, he's... This one wants to know shiny things. Uh, what of it? This one speaks much more... Uh, much better common. Uh, these lands are under our protection. This uh, goblin here says that you've been invaded. Yes, big, ugly brutes. Yes, I think I've read histories about them. Fomorians, our people call them. Fomorians. Uh, you say that these big. creatures invaded your mine. But they came from underground. They came up? The whole earth shook. So this other one tells me that you spend your time mining and eating mushrooms. Is that true? Uh, what is it to you? Well, these are our lands. If you've been mining illegally... Make another intimidation check to this guy. <laughs> I, I want no part of uh, getting in your way. Uh, it's gold. We mine gold. Yes. And you don't do anything with the gold? You just keep it because it's shiny? It's shiny. Yes. <laughs> you humans don't like us so much. <laughs> Not all are bad. I sort of reach up and sort of scratch one of my horns absentmindedly. It's like I know a little something about being a uh, oh. initially judged. So, uh, what? You're no human. Maybe I can trust you. Come sit by fire. What you wish to know? Um, it's still like cold out, right? Like it's it's still cold. All right. Um. I have companions with me who also wish to sit by your fire. Would it be alright if they came forward? Yes, bring them over. Alright. So I'm going to go back to the edge of the forest or wherever. Tim just struts up. I thought we, I thought we were going to kill these guys. No, man. <laughs> Xayden just laughs out loud as he walks back. <laughs> and talks. You can try. Um... All right, guys. Plot twist. These are gold mining goblins. Hmm. That is literally the my favorite type of goblin. 
<laughs> what was that? I said that is literally my favorite type of goblin. Well, you can't put a price on a human life, can you? Tim says. <laughs> Fell, you're getting all of this right now. You're kind of in the treetops. I'm sorry. Uh, what price are we putting on, and on whose life? You, you, don't don't strike a deal with these murderous thieves. Who have they murdered? What have they stolen? That one right there is wearing my shirt. <laughs> I look. Is, the, is he wearing a human shirt? He's wearing a, a human large shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's like a dress on him. 